You know, when I first heard about Swiffy, uh, I was immediately wondering if Procter & Gamble just released a new product that kind of merges peanut butter with mops. You know, you can make a new clean, a new mop like Swiffer and basically have it stewed out Skippy peanut butter, you know, then clean your floors and stuff. Turns out, uh, no. That's not, has nothing to do with peanut butter or mops. It has a lot to do, however, with Flash and HTML5. So, it's basically kind of a way of cleaning up your, H your Flash movies and then create HTML5 animations. It's basically Google's answer to Wallaby, which I actually did in my last video here on YouTube, uh, is of course an Adobe's tool for converting Flash into HTML5. Now they're very different applications, mind you. In the case of Wallaby, it's a standalone application you download from labs.adobe.com and you place it in your hard drive. Then you take your FLA movies from Creative Suite 5 or 5.5 and make HTML5 animations from them with no interactivity whatsoever. Kind of limited. Swiffy is very different in that respect. Swiffy works strictly from the web. And basically what it does is you basically would load a file in, you'd upload your, S instead of an FLA, you'd upload a Swift file. And then you convert that into HTML5 with interactivity. However, there are limitations here. Number one, you can only use Flash 5 movies and below. You cannot use Flash 10, Flash 9, not going to happen. Even bigger, if you've got anything with AS3, ActionScript 3, forget it, not going to happen. You've got to use AS2 or lower. Yes, we're going in the Wayback Machine about a decade. So the cool thing is they've got some examples here, and some are better than others, but the one I really liked here was this one here, which is based on the old 70s Atari game Pong. So what you're seeing here is the flash animation, and it kind of performs a little slow here on uh, here on Playbook. But check this out. This is the HTML5 version I'm playing right now. And just like in the 70s, I'm playing it poorly. But it does work. This is HTML5 from a flash movie with all the interactivity still in it. This is pretty cool, you gotta admit. This is really cool because it's great if you want to try to create those interactive web banners that so many people want to do, and again, you can't do that in Wallaby. Now, this is accomplished using a product called JSON. And what JSON is, basically, is it's a JavaScript language, and basically, once you use it, you can't, you know, once you make the conversion, you can download the file, but what you're going to see is, when you take a look at the source code, you're going to see this long, 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 long line of, of JavaScript. And unlike Wallaby, where you could easily edit the code, can't really do that here. I mean, unless you're really a JSON expert, you probably have a problem, and I'm not a JSON expert, so. What I decided to do was I decided to see if I, what I could do with this, and what I did was I went and took a website for Flash 5 in 2002 for Basin Street Records, which we recently just redesigned it. And as you can see, this is Flash 5, it's got, it's got collapsible menus, it's got animation inside, layering different switches on top of another database connectivity. You got a ticker down here. Uh, now forget the HTML wrapper around it. That's not important. We're concerned about the Flash movie here. Also, also you can't really see this here, but there are tooltips when you roll over each of these. Uh, won't work on the playbook, of course, but it's got a lot going on. So my question was, what if I took the home page, the home page, and actually converted it into an HTML5 movie? Well, the results were kind of interesting. Now, before I go any further, what they say at Google is, for Swiffy, you can only really make conversions for Chrome and Safari. That's it. But I wanted to see what else it could do. So I tried it in four browsers. I tried it in Chrome and Safari, like they suggest. I also tried it in the new Firefox 5 and, of course, here on the playbook. So let's see the output if we can. And I'm going to go ahead here and refresh this. And as you can see, it's not that bad. It's a little, it's, it's slower. It's definitely slower and chunkier. But look at this. In this version, it actually remembered, these are font symbols here. It remembered the gadget font. It remembered the collapsible menu. Check this out. If I can press the right buttons here. Well, actually here on the playbook, it doesn't work. But on Safari and Chrome, and actually Firefox, the collapsible menus do work. They just don't work here. Uh, obviously, the ticker doesn't actually read a text file here. In fact, when I did the first conversion, it actually started the animation, and then it went right straight to the text file itself. That's all you got to see. So that was a problem. Obviously, it doesn't load any content here because it would call, it's making a load movie call to a Swift file. You can't do that in HTML5. In fact, if I click on one of the artist names here on top, 
and I click on that, no tool tip, but you do get, it actually will load, and let's see if I can get this to work here, it will actually load, again this doesn't work, oh yeah here it does, it loads a Swift file directly in the screen. So this is the actual Swift file that would be normally layered in from a load movie, again can't do it. So now what Swifty does, it converts it into a link. So it links to the Swift file instead, so it's still there. So as long as you have it in your server, which in this case you do, it actually does that. It does it pretty nicely. Um, it's not perfect, not by a long shot. In fact, in, um, if I can go back here, in, uh, whoa, that was interesting. <laughs> Let me reload that. In, what I noticed was, in Safari, in Safari, the blue background you see here disappears. It's a white background, so that's bad. And, let me see if I can zoom this out. Obviously, there are still some bugs in this system. And in Firefox, all those fonts you saw in Gadget and Helvetica, they just show up as times, as just times. It just goes to the generic font, basically. So there's definitely a lot of problems here. It is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And even Google admits it's a beta, like everything else Google makes is a beta. But it's certainly promising. And if you want to do simple animations like that Pong game, which obviously didn't have much going for it beyond just some black and white uh, vector graphics and uh, a scoring system, you can get away with some nice stuff. Uh, again, Wallaby and Flat, Wallaby and Swiffy are very different tools, and it'll be interesting to see what comes out next from this. Again, it'll never replace a real HTML5 editor, but it's a great head start. Again, if you want to do some more complex animations uh, with some interactivity, but you don't want to edit the code, especially if you don't understand JSON, then yeah, Swiffy's for you. If you just want to do an animation, probably Wallaby's for you. So there are some differences between the two, and the two are not compatible with one another. But, again, it's a really good head start and a really good product. So, I'm going to definitely keep looking at this in the future, see what Google comes up with next as they, as they advance this product even more and more. And Adobe works on Wallaby, and more importantly, works on Edge for later this summer. So that's it from here for Data TV, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.